Hello and welcome to this video channel. My name is Peter Waters and my ham radio call sign is Golf 3 Oscar Juliet Victor. I want to introduce you to the new ICOM IC905. But before we look at that, just uh, let's go back a bit and see how ICOM have done over the last few years. You know, they introduced uh, quite a few years ago now the ICOM IC7300. Very successful transceiver. In fact, it's probably the most successful HF transceiver of modern times. We probably have to go back to the Yesu FT101 many, many years ago, which sold in its thousands. And ICOM repeated that success by introducing new technology. It was the first SDR self contained 100 watt transceiver that was available around the world. And it certainly was uh, taken up by the ham radio market because it broke all sorts of uh, new ground. Uh, not only the SDR, but also the beautiful menu system, the lovely colour display, etc. And then they built on that success by introducing the IC705, which I've used quite a lot. That's a portable transceiver. It's also got uh, a nice colour screen. I'm not sure that it's much smaller than the... Uh, one on the 7300. But it's got a nice colour screen. Now this one is a 10 watt HF and VHF transceiver. 10 watts out, all bands from 160 metres to 70 sems. And again, it's been very popular. Um, it's got a lovely menu display and a lot of people don't realise how important a menu display is when it's successful. And those people that have operated the 7300, because this really is um, basically a 7300 in many respects, not completely, but in many respects it's a 7300, uses a very similar menu system, and people do appreciate how you can navigate the menu system. Anyway, it's a success, and ICOM are now breaking new ground. They've introduced the IC905. Now the IC905, by the way, is not very far away. In fact, by the time you watch this video, the first model, or first sample, will have arrived in the UK. The IC905 looks very much like an IC705, but gosh, it is so, so different. And I think the best way to introduce the IC905 is to watch a few clips here from the ICOM video. And I'll take you through this video and we'll pick up various points which are quite important, quite revolutionised. When I say that the IC905 will cover 2 metres, uh, 70 cms, 1296, 2.4 GHz, 5.6 GHz and with the optional transverter, 10 GHz. That's a lot of band space to cover. So let's see how ICOM have attempted to do this with their new IC905. Let's always aim ever higher. VHF, UHF and enter the world of SHF. can they achieve all this in such a small package? And remember, this is not a concept. This radio will be available in the UK this year. The IC905 is the first rig in the industry to operate in the 144, 430, 1200, 2400, 5600 MHz and 10 gigahertz bands. All mode operation including D-Star, DV, DD mode and ATV. Output power is 10 watts on 144, 430, 1200 MHz, 2 watts on 2400, 5600 MHz, and 0.5 watts on 10 GHz. Well, it sounds like a big investment in coax cable to me. All that coax cable for all those bands. I tried to think how much it would cost. The IC905 consists of the controller and the RF module. 
The biggest feature is the LAN cable connection between the controller and the RF module. By connecting the controller and the RF module with the LAN cable, even if the antenna and controller are 20 meters apart, for example, the coaxial cable loss can be reduced by only using a few centimeters between the RF module and antenna. Even in the UHF, SHF bands, efficient transmission and reception are realized with extremely low cable loss. This allows the IC905 to operate efficiently in the SHF band, which in the past was mainly limited to operation directly below the antenna, even from home or in a car for mobile operation. Well, that's pretty neat, isn't it? There's a big saving to be made on coax cable, and coax cable for the SHF frequencies is quite expensive. But wait a minute, if they've got this RF device at the top of the mast, it's got to be powered. And if they're going to squirt 12 volts 20 meters away, you're not going to get many volts at the top to power this amplifier. How are I going to solve that one? Adopting PoE, Power Over Ethernet technology, supplies power through the LAN cable. With PoE technology, the connection can be made with a single cable, and the RF module can be installed with more versatility. Moreover, PoE technology makes it possible to supply power with a low power loss. Normally, if the power cable is extended to 20 meters, the voltage drop will be too large for a 10-watt transceiver, and it may not operate properly. With PoE technology, the DC power loss can be reduced by raising the voltage and reducing the current. So it is possible to supply stable power even if the cable is long. The IC905 will be supplied with a LAN cable with weather durability. Gosh, that's clever. So we've got rid of the coax cable, so there's no ca cable loss. We've raised the voltage, so there's no voltage drop on the feed to the amplifier at the top of the mast. But what about stability? <laughs> Drift, that could be a problem, surely. Another challenge is frequency accuracy and stability. Even with a high-performance OCXO, the frequency gradually changes due to temperature and aging. With normal OCXOs, the annual deviation will be plus or minus 0.3 ppm and plus or minus 1.5 ppm in 10 years. At 5.6 gigahertz, the deviation will be as much as 8.4 kilohertz in 10 years. To solve this problem, we have adopted a method that uses a high precision one pulse per second clock signal from a GNSS GPS receiver to enable advanced frequency management. Well, I have to say that ICOM seem to have solved all the potential stumbling blocks. So let's, let's see how the system actually all plugs together and operates. The controller design is based on the compact IC705. The operation is basically the same as the IC705 with a 4.3 inch large color LCD touch display. A high performance real time spectrum scope and waterfall display are built in. The real time spectrum scope can be adjusted for various band spans. D star functions are also built in. DD mode, DR function, terminal mode, access point mode, enable easy use of D-Star. It is also possible to send, receive, and view saved photos in the IC905. The IC905 is compatible with ATV in the FM mode. If an analog camera is connected, the IC905 can transmit and receive video, and also supports enlarged display of the video. In addition to these various functions, the CX10G, a 10 GHz transverter, is available as an optional item. An antenna unit for the 10 GHz band is also available. ICOM and the IC905 has made operation in the 10 GHz band much simpler than it has been to date. SHF operation will become more familiar and easy to work going forward. A variety of functions are available, including AV input and output for ATV. 
The IC905 is packed with useful features and functions, making it possible to provide more comfortable and advanced operation. Let's take a look at each part. On the right side of the controller, there are ports to connect to the RF module, the SD card slot, and the USB Type-C connector. On the left side of the controller, there are connectors for the speaker microphone, key jack for CW, and AV, in-out, etc. Well, it's all very impressive, but the one thing I'm still not sure of is if I've got several antennas how do I switch between the antennas? I mean, you can't have a simple changeover relay at those sort of frequencies. So what's the solution there? Now let's look at the RF module. On the top side, there are SMA type antenna connectors for 5600 MHz and 2400 MHz. An N type antenna connector for 144, 430, 1200 MHz and an SMA type antenna connector for the GPS. On the bottom side, there are connectors for the LAN cable to the controller, a connector for the CX10G, and a BNC type connector for the 10 MHz reference output. The RF module is robust and designed for outdoor use with an IPX5 waterproof rating. Well, well done, ICOM. Quite an amazing transceiver. It's amazing that with something like this, something this size sitting on your desk, you can cover those UHF and SHF bands very effectively. Virtually no cable loss. And have it connected to several antennas without having to worry about how you change antennas. It's all very good, isn't it? Now, something like this comes at a price because this is built for the enthusiast who is dedicated to those bands. Now, let me give you an example. I've got a smartphone here and I can take photos on my smartphone and they come out quite well and I'm quite happy with them. Um, there's things that are too far away that I can't really zoom into. Uh, but, you know, for, for the run-of-the-mill stuff, it's okay. And if I want to buy myself a camera with a zoom lens, I could buy one for about two or three hundred pounds, actually. Quite effective, and it does the job, and it keeps me happy, and I'm happy with the result. And it's all about satisfaction, isn't it? If you're in, into a hobby, the level of satisfaction differs from person to person. Now, I've got a camera here, because I used to do quite a lot of photography. This is actually a camera that I do occasionally use now. This camera with its zoom lens will cost around about two and a half thousand pounds. It's way above the cost of my sort of 300 pound um, camera. But the reason that I was happy to pay this price is because it does all sorts of things that the other camera didn't do. It does it better and it reaches sort of the optical performance that you can't achieve with a cheaper camera. And there's other examples of this. I mean, two and a half thousand pounds for a zoom lens and a camera may seem expensive, but if you're an enthusiast, you wouldn't shudder at paying even more than that. And I think that's really where we are with this particular item. If you're dedicated, you can see the value in it. But if you are sort of just a passerby and, you know, think, oh, gosh, I'd like to operate there. Oh, God, I'm not paying that sort of money. Well, it's not for you anyway. But I think we should congratulate ICOM on producing, and they have produced it. As I said before, at the beginning of this video, there will be a sample in the UK by the time you watch this video. I think they've achieved something rather special, and they've actually anticipated the way that the amateur radio hobby is going to go for some people. We're going to use satellite communication more and more. We're going to use these higher frequencies. And you need gear that works on it. It's not for everybody. I mean, I'm quite happy. I'm a simple guy, really. <laughs> I'm quite happy with the wire down the garden and operating CW, but that's not for everybody. You know. So I think we should congratulate uh, uh, ICOM in this and um, perhaps let ICOM have the last word. 
The IC905 will show you a new world in the SHF band. It will excite your curiosity and inspire you to explore technology. Let's aim higher together with the IC905. VHF, UHF, and enter the world of SHF.